Good day boys. Today we are going to study MV Hinship problems 3 and problems 4. On the left hand side in this PowerPoint presentation you have problem 3 and on the right hand side there is a numerical which is similar to problem number 4. Coming back to problem number 3. Hinship is floating at a draft of 5.6 meters in relative density of 1.015. Now we need to find her displacement at 1.015 uh, relative density at a draft of 5.6 meters. To do that we have to enter her tables. At 5.60 meters we see her displacement to be 11,120 metric tons. So, this is in salt water as you see over here. It is in specific gravity of 1.025. We have to convert that to get, a, uh, to get her displacement in 1.015. How do we do that? We take this 11,120 divided by 1.025 and multiply it by 1.015. When we do this 11,120 divided by 1.025, we get her underwater volume at 5.60 meter draft. Having got the underwater volume, we then multiply it by the relative density of 1.015 and we get her displacement in a water of 1.015 to be 11,011.5 metric tons. <clears throat> Similarly, we go back to the hydrostatic tables and we see her, find her TPC at 1.015 and we find her MCTC at 1.015. TPC is tons per centimeter immersion and MCTC is moment to change trim by 1 centimeter. So let us see what are the values at 5.6 meters in salt water. 5.6 meters draft TPC is 22.32 tons per centimeter and MCTC is 171 ton meters. So here we have 22.32 tons per centimeter and 171 ton meters. These values also have to be converted to dock water values. So 22.32 divided by 1.025 multiplied by 1.015 gives her TPC in dock water 1.015 as 22.102 metric tons per centimeter. MCTC also has to be converted. So MCTC value is 171 in salt water. We divide it by 1.025 and we multiply by 1.015 to get a value of 169.3 ton meters. Now we come to the remaining values that we have to find. LCB, LCF, vertical center of buoyancy that is KB, KM transfers and KM longitude. The draft given is 5.6 meters. Now I would like to explain to you boys is that at this draft of 5.6 meters the underwater volume is the same irrespective of whatever, uh, whatever water she is floating in. The, at this same 5.6 meter draft her water plane area is also going to be the same irrespective of the water she is floating in. Hence, as you see over here, my remark, there are no changes for change in relative density. Values are read or interpolated at 5.6 meter draft in the hydrostatic table. So at 5.6 meter draft, we see LCB as 72.992 meters, LCF at 72.675 meters, VCB or KB at 2.998 meters, KM transfers at 
8.578 meters and KM longitudinal at 223.3 meters. So these values are over here and they stay the same. They are not to be interpolated for they are not to be interpolated for relative density. Now we go to the next problem number four. Here also MV Hinship she is now floating at a, at a displacement of 11,120 metric tons in water of relative density 1.015 and we have to find her draft. Now as we have seen in the earlier example 3, Hinship tables are calculated for specific gravity or relative density of 1.025. To enter these tables, to get the values, we have to convert this displacement of 11,120 metric tons to an equivalent displacement in salt water. It is not the actual displacement of in salt water. If it was possible to lift MV Hinship physically and put it into salt water, yes, the displacement would stay the same as 11,120 metric tons. But here we are not actually lifting MV Hinship from relative density of 1.015 and putting her into salt water. We are just calculating an equivalent salt water displacement so that we can enter these hydrostatic tables. Now, to do so, we have to know her displacement and her displacement is given as 11,120 metric tons in relative density 1.015. So, 11,120 divided by 1.015 will give you her underwater volume in duck water and you multiply that by 1.025 that is the relative density of salt water you get her equivalent displacement in salt water then that is equal to 11,229.6 metric tons. Having found this equivalent displacement in salt water, now you can enter the tables of MV Hinship. So, 11,229.6 11, metric tons will lie somewhere between 5.6 meters and 5.8 meters. At 5.6, the displacement is 11,120. At 5.8, the displacement in salt water is 11,569. So, after we interpolate for 11,229.6 metric tons, we get her draft to be 5.649 meters. Now, boys, remember one thing. This draft is in dock water 1.015. It is the draft in 1.015 relative density. Okay. Having got the, having calculated this uh, draft in dock water, we now go back to the tables, and at 5.649 meters, we find her TPC. Now this TPC that you will see at 5.649 meters will be the TPC in salt water and the MCTC that you see at 5.649 meters will be her MCTC in salt water. Now both these values have to be converted to values in dock water of 1.015. So 22.34 divided by salt water Rd multiplied by dock water Rd of 1.015 and you get a TPC to be 22.12 metric tons per centimeter. Similarly, you take her salt water MCTC divided by 1.025 and multiply by 1.015, you get her 
MCTC in dock water at 5.649 meters to be 169.6 ton meters. Having done that, we now have to find the values of LCB, LCF, KB, KM transfers and KM longitude. As was mentioned in problem number 3. LCB, LCF, KB, KM transfers, KM longitudinal depend upon the underwater volume of the ship or the water plane area of the ship at, at that particular draft. And they do not change irrespective of whatever the whatever be the relative density of the water in which the, any ship is floating. So we go back over here for 5.649 meters for 5.649 meters we have to interpolate between these two values to get her LCB we have to interpolate between these two values to get her LCF we have to interpolate between these two values to get her KB between these two values to get her KM transfers and between these two values to get her KM longitudinal at 5.649 meters. Here are the numbers for the LCB, LCF, KB, KM transfers and KM longitudinal. In case you have any difficulty in understanding this, you are free to ask me and I am here to explain to you once again right from the very beginning. Thank you very much.